All Things Star Wars is live. Live. Okay, now it says live. Ooh. All right, look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this up on a little YouTube here. Let's see what's going on. Same here. Got my iPad over here. I don't know if I like this. Like, I understand why it's doing it for the for the YouTube live because whoever's talking, they want to see their face bigger. But I want to see your face all the time. I don't want to see my own fucking face when I'm talking. I don't know. I mean, like my my screen doesn't change at all. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter who's talking. I'm I'm the little guy in the bottom. That's right because you're not uh, you're not the one who's broadcasting from your computer. Oh shit! There it is. Volume down. That's what ha what's happening? I pulled up the the thing on my uh, on my phone. Oh, I see it now. Adult. Hang on. <laughs> Wait a minute. So I, this is good. I, I made the mistake of clicking on the thing that popped up in the bottom, and then I was listening to myself, and that's foolish. All right, so let me see. What's activity? Why am I not? Oh, you know why? Because I'm on this thing. Let me go to another YouTube channel here, uh, one of many. Screen share uh, chat. Now uh, I need cameraman. Okay. No, did I just? What did I do? Broadcast settings. As guests join, hide their audio and video from my broadcast. No. Broadcast this large video that I see to my audience and hide the other video feeds. New guests. Uh, no, that's. As guests join, hide their audio and video from my broadcast. I, I, can, I can hear myself. All right. Well, I want to hear, my, I want to hear myself talk. That way I can see if the, the audio quality is as shitty as I think it is. All right. Why don't you monologue about your beard? Tell me a little bit about that. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to monologue about the awfulness of this thing, which I already actually shaved down once. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. You did it right before I left. Monologue about the awfulness of this thing, which I already actually shaved down once. Oh, really? All right. It's not, it doesn't sound that bad, honestly. I'm going to no, turn the volume I, back down. I still hear um, a bunch of scratch with your damn microphone, but. I mean, I don't yeah, know. I maybe it's on too, my... but it's not coming through the video. Oh, it's not. No, when I, when I was listening to it in the broadcast, I'd be curious to see. Like we we play this back when we're not, um, uh, you know, in this inner level of interaction. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely want the video to. itself is going to how that's going to play back. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, worst case, you know, I get on Amazon right now. And get one of those. How you doing? Well, don't do that yet. Wait and see how it sounds like. Once we're done, go and watch the video and listen to yourself. Because like yeah. the last couple times you've talked, it, it was pretty damn scratchy when you were talking. Yeah. We'll have to, like I said, we'll have to see how it goes. So can, can you tell? Headset. Can you tell I did some trimming too? I see that. Yeah. Went back to the bald. Yeah, as you should. You're. Uh, Wait. What are you trying to say? You're the old guy in that in that uh, group, man. You're gonna you have to show it. You have to embrace it. Oh, I've already had to lecture a couple of the guys in my class. Really? Uh, yeah. They, so they're oh, very old kids. Yeah, <laughs> they're very generous with the breaks in this. We go for 45 minutes, and they give us a 15 minute break, which oh, is yeah, it's ATC standard. Nice. Right. But these fucking douchebags. We all come back uh, like at 13 minutes. 12 minutes, 13 minutes, sit around, kind of BS for a little while. And then these two guys roll in five minutes after the break is over. So they took a 20 minute break. So I'm like, all right, you and you hold back. I'm like, is there any reason why you guys, you know, took an extra five minutes on your break? They're like, oh, we didn't know. We didn't uh, know what time it was. And I look down and they've both got these big ass fucking watches on. I'm like, you both have watches. Don't yeah. do this again. There's no excuse. Yeah. I, and I felt like yeah. I was lecturing Rob. Well, when you, I was talking to these guys. honestly, dude, that's the way it's going to be. Yeah. Do, do they still have three forty ones? They do. <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't take it that far. Jason, yet, so. Jason's going to pull three forty ones. Oh, oh, that reminds me though. Uh, the the phase program. See, this is the thing. Like, if they keep fucking up, I'm just going to tell their their MTLs. Is that what the what they are in tech school? I think so. The so. TIs in basic and tech schools is the MTLs. Anyway, uh, because if they fuck up, they get washed back to phase one. Now they only have two phases here anymore really? yeah so phase one is the full lockdown if you're outside of your room you got to be in uniform and right. you cannot leave base and they're in that for 28 days four weeks and then the entire rest of the time it's like phase old phase four 
where you could be in cities off duty mm-hmm. and go go off base and all that stuff. Oh, what's that's such bullshit, man. Getting yeah. to phase five when we were there, especially when we were there for that long, that was mm-hmm. like you were like permanent party at that point. There was no fucking dorm inspections. Are they still yeah. d- doing dorm inspections? Uh, I didn't ask, but that's definitely one thing I should ask. My glasses look crooked. Mm. Anyway, yeah, so, but, you know, the guy I was talking to, which, by the way, was the guy who later came back late from break, was telling me that, yeah, um, you know, we only have the two phases, but if we screw up, then, you know, they can bust us back to phase one. I'm going to, I'm going to FaceTime, FaceTime with my wife here real quick. All right. Yeah. Hey, I'm on I'm on YouTube Live right now with uh, Jason as he flosses. You're flossing on YouTube Live. I got to do something while you're talking to her. Oh, my God. Okay. Wh- why? What do you need? Nothing. Just wanted to know why you were FaceTiming Kristen. I'm not FaceTiming Kristen. I'm FaceTiming. You did. You tried to. Really? Yeah. No, I was FaceTiming Jason. Then Kristen, what on what device? I don't know. You sent her a FaceTime on her phone. It was your phone number. Yeah, no, legitimately, and you'll see it. You can. We have video evidence of it. <laughs> you know, I was FaceTiming Jason because we were looking at the setup options for the YouTube Live. So I don't know. Maybe they're sharing an account, or maybe she's a. Uh, maybe she's tied to Jason's uh, phone somehow to make sure he's uh, staying out of trouble. Let me see it. Bye. Did they hang out today? Kristen mentioned that they were talking about it. Yeah. That's okay. really weird. Because I, if you look at my. Yeah. It says Jason Roskam FaceTime video. I don't know why Kristen would have had any notification of that whatsoever. Yeah. It's really know. strange. Did you make it? So, I did not. <laughs> it doesn't travel. You know, rolled up dental floss does not travel very far. No, a lot of, very, lot of resistance. It's not aerodynamic or heavy. No, not at all. So <laughs> didn't quite work. So, all right. This seems to be working. You know, I'm, I'll go back and I'll rewatch this afterwards and see right. um, you know, see how it looks. What's your housing situation going to be like? <sighs> I don't know. At this point, I mean, the place that I'm in right now, I'm in the main building, building um, right. that's right next to the hospital. I actually don't mind this spot that I'm in right now. The room's decent. The gym is like, if I open this window behind me, you would see the gym. That would be the building you see. And then the track right. is right beside it. And then the commissary is like two blocks over from that. Yeah. So I remember I'm, back where the hospital was. Yeah. I'm, I'm around like everything that I need. Um, so at this point, if and I don't hear from furniture. the fucking housing place, what's that? And you have furniture. <laughs> I do. Yes. So if I hear, or, Actually, if I don't hear from the housing place by like the end of the day today, I was thinking about walking downstairs and just being like, hey, can I extend and keep the room that I'm in right now? Because it, it, it works. Yeah. You just don't have kitchen and shit like that. That so is I- an issue. Um, I've got a crock pot. I don't know if they'll let me like run that all day when I'm not in the room. Though if I put <laughs> up my do not disturb sign, I'll never really know, will they? Probably not. Yeah. Unless they're watching this YouTube live. Yeah. But, uh, you know, those rotisserie chickens have been getting the job done. I'll tell you that. I'll bet. Come on, buddy. Come on, have, buddy. Do you have a bigger um, <laughs> Do you have a bigger fridge? Like, do you have a full-size fridge in there, or is it just no, a... it's a small hotel-style fridge. But there is a freezer compartment on top, too, and I have a microwave. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it'll, it would get old after a while, but I don't know. That whole base housing option seems like it would be a lot more fucking work than it's worth you know what i mean it yeah um yeah, i mean now if you were they were going to set you up at some fucking apartment complex where all that shit's already there then it's a fucking completely different well, story they do have those down here that i could get set up with but then i'd be way the hell off base i wouldn't ha- have the gym right here uh, i wouldn't have everything here i'd have to like i don't know come in early yeah. shower in the gym and then change and go right into yeah, your your slam click propensity is is probably, you know, better suited where you are. To be honest, yeah, yeah. So I mean, if if they let me stay in this room, then I would probably stay here for the rest of the time because it's don't have, it's adequate. And they don't have. You asked them about TLFs. They don't have TLFs. 
No, nah, I didn't really ask about that. You should ask um, them. See if they have like if they have any TLFs, and if they do, like you're down there for how many months? Five total. So, yeah, July twentieth is my supposed graduation date. So yeah, like five months from now. Yeah, we'll see. It doesn't look, it doesn't look bad. It's not the tiniest room ever. No, no, it's a decent size. Yeah, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> it came with a that looks like a 40, 48 inch uh, LC HD TV. Right. So I got the Xbox hooked up to it. I mean, really, the only thing I don't have here that would have been nice to have is like a stove. Right. But I could get a hot plate, a George Foreman grill or something. If they let you, because that this sensitive, uh, sensitive ass smoke detectors, you can have the whole building emptied out pretty quick. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I didn't think about that. Fuck. That being said, if you have, um, you know, options for grilling, you go outside and, and, you know, grill stuff up. Yeah, I should do a big walk around the perimeter. See, uh, see what's around here. And there's like a, like where I said the, um, the track is over there. No, over there. Uh -huh. Um, there's like a park right next to it, so maybe uh, maybe they have a grill there. I'm willing to bet that they have something near the facility. Yeah, but I mean it's billeting, so it's not like it's not like dorms. I know uh, when we were at the senior academy, like we had, um, you know, basically a room like you're in, and then but it had a desk and everything. Like it was more set up for um, for students, and yeah. then but in the common area they had grills all over the place so you could like you had like little bench areas and grills and stuff like that so you, you know you could go out there and do stuff you got the weather for it yeah you oh, god what what has been so it. fucking beautiful oh god yeah yeah and it's shitty and rainy here for the past three days and mm -hmm. not, 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 not willing to quit so motherfuckers I and I totally fucked up when I packed. Like I brought a bunch of pairs of pants, a couple of hoodies, some other cold weather stuff. Shouldn't have brought any of that shit. It's been well, 70 something degrees every single day that I've been here. It, look, it's, you're in an area where it has potential to be down in, in the, in the high thirties, low forties. It's, it's not without precedence. Yeah. Just, I guess just not. not right now. No. And then nothing in the next five days from the forecast that I looked at. So <laughs> it's nice. What's though, your, man. Uh, What's your school day like? Well, right now, because I'm in this IT fundamentals portion for the first two weeks, so it's like we get there at 7. We're normally released by like 3. The permanent party guys anyway. They, the airmen have to stay behind. But, yeah, they let us go normally by 3 every day. It's pretty <laughs> simple. They, like, like I was telling you, the course material itself is super fucking ridiculous. It's so easy. What does a D-style uh, fire extinguisher do? And then it's like, oh, all about ComSec and the different classifications of ComSec. And <laughs> it's, I'm just like, I've been doing this shit for 20 years, man. You should just get up and teach the course, man. Fuck that. It's a little, <laughs> little work as possible. That's, uh, that's what I'm going for. You spend the first couple of days to like, I don't make the big mistake that we made when we were down there for radio school was the... Uh, um, you know the the flight commander, some captain walks in the room. They're supposed to call the room to attention. Yeah. yeah, we we didn't do any of that shit, and they got really really pissed about it. They're <laughs> like, you know, oh, some tech sergeant comes in and it's like, oh, you know, the uh, the commander's really upset. We're like, why? I'm like, oh well, you know, she came in to do her introductions and you know didn't, didn't call the room to attention. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it Tim Kennedy was like, she's a captain. <laughs> like, <laughs> of course. You would do that. Yeah. You like, know. what were, what were you expecting us to do? Is yeah. it, you know, and um, yeah, it didn't go over well. So well, and it's funny too, because like, even with some of these prior NCOs, like I'm the highest ranking person of all the 60 people that started last week. Right. Um, and there were a couple of tech sergeants, but mostly like the prior service guys, were, like staffs and senior airmen. Um, and they wanted all the prior guys. They they pulled us all in to uh, to fill out some fucking contact form and all that shit. And the guy that was doing it was this butter bar who's like the the do of the squadron or some shit. And the the commander's a captain. And um, <laughs> and he and I are just like bullshitting back and forth because I I 
some somehow it came up that I'm uh, from Jersey. And he's like, oh, you're a big Eagles fan. I'm like, no, but I got friends who are, blah, 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 blah. And then he was talking about how he's a Patriots fan. I'm like, oh, well, thanks for, uh, you know, uh, Garoppolo and all that. And we were talking football for like 20 minutes, just like bullshitting back and forth, like very informal. And right. like all the other, you know, prior service guys are all like, oh, man, he's, he's getting real familiar with this lieutenant. I'm <laughs> like, That's right. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Get written up for fraternization or some bullshit. Yeah. Oh my God, dude. They push that shit so much. Like, don't fucking look at an airman. Don't do anything. Don't talk to him. Don't do all. Well, not that extreme. It's but, a smart. Know, it's they, a. It's a smart move. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, and they're like, this is the easiest way to get you kicked out of here. Is if you, uh, you know, talk have to any them. kind of yeah. Yeah. Don't go to the triangle area and all that bullshit. Unfortunately, I have to sometimes because the only chow halls that are open for all three meals are the two that are at the fucking triangle. Oh, There's really? one that's pretty close to here that when I was here for the NCO Academy was open for every meal, but they got rid of that. It's only open for lunch now. So I got to go all the way to the fucking triangle if I want to eat dinner or breakfast at the fucking chow hall. That's bullshit. Yeah. How, how, how empty is the base? Is it pretty empty? No, surprisingly it's, it's, pretty bustling like when i uh when i drive in in the mornings i gotta make sure i take this one specific turn because if i don't i'm gonna come across a fucking flight of like i don't know it must have been a hundred uh kids from school marching to one of the the classrooms and it wasn't to the place where i was going it was to somewhere else i wonder what i wonder what they're teaching there still uh so i guess they got some sort of radio or a couple of different radio uh career fields not like com nav but like like ground radio ground yeah like ground radio stuff um uh, like all the three deltas, I guess, come through here now. Okay. Um, uh, one Bravo is obviously. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what else. It's just weird. Just weird. Everything coming back full circle. Yeah. I'll tell you. I'm. I got the video up on the iPad. The video mm-hmm. is pretty clear. It's all. It's way clearer than it looks on my screen right now. Yeah. And whatever happened with your audio, it's it's starting to stabilize too. It's like I'm not hearing as much scratchiness and you're not really cutting out as far as signal strength, so that's good. And it just took a minute for everything to get uh get situated, I guess. Yeah. Um zoom, like I want to like zoom in on the beard just to, just to... Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh two more days, man. Two more days. Oh yeah, and then you're off the books. You're a free man. Yeah. After um, let's see. And there's the close up. <laughs> it's a couple, a few second delay. Um, yeah. yeah, it's uh, kind of surreal. I, I sat in a Thursday meeting and nobody was really there. Everyone, everyone's fucking gone. I was mm-hmm. just kind of sitting there getting my last intel brief. I got read out and uh, all that stuff on Thursday. So. Read it, yeah, you know, read out, but yeah, it's um, they didn't do any of that for me, so dummies. It, it, it was like I tried to tell Jose, I'm like, look, dude, there's a process. I ran this shop for fucking four years, mm-hmm. you know, there's a process to this stuff, you know, don't be ignorant to it just because some fucking you know, captain or newly minted major doesn't take it seriously, and some full bird colonel who thinks he knows what's going on and is a super nice guy, but really doesn't know what's going on and how that shit works. You know, just don't take his word for it just because. Right. But it is what it is. It's not my problem anymore. <laughs> that is true. That is very true. I gotta keep you can say that about a lot of shit. Yeah. Speaking it's. Of, go ahead. Are they, are they, uh, was today a down Friday? No, it's work Friday. Okay. Cause I got the text this morning. Are you still on that? No, it's amazingly not. As soon as I turned in my phone, uh, even my personal phone, I stopped getting it. Like, fucking, I, I wish I'd stop getting the shit. I got the all threes yesterday, and then I got another thing today. Oh, did you? Yeah, I don't know how much of the shit I should be talking about over the air. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that offline. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's funny. Um, no, I'm 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 out. I guess uh, maybe Costello went in and worked the ad hoc or did something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, when I turned in my work phone, I was uh, even my personal stuff all shut off. So I don't yeah. get any of it. 
your signal was cutting out for a second there. It wasn't. No. You seem to have uh, recovered. But I just so posted a the, link. The plan for me, anyway, is, is not to be doing this for like for the podcast from my kitchen table. Um, I'm going to get once I get the office shit squared away, which is I'm procrastinating. It's what I'm going to be working on this afternoon. Mm-hmm. And Kathy and I are going to a dinner tonight. Um, it's actually like it's just turned into a crazy busy fucking weekend. It's like, uh, you know, we're going to dinner tonight. And then Saturday is, um, um, fuck, there's something, something's going on Saturday. Oh, we're, we're going up, uh, up north to see, uh, to see Jeff and Jess. Cool. And, um, and then Sunday, I'm helping John move into his, like, the big stuff into his new place. So, right. Cause he was waiting to get some of these renovations done. Yeah, he was uh, he was talking about it yesterday that the uh, I guess the contractors his his wife like laid into the contractors and basically was like you know this was a two week job and we're in week four like what the fuck over yeah like, basically telling him I'm six months pregnant and we're trying to get this fucking house finished and now you're 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 stressing me out so they're like all right well it'll be done Friday so yeah. I'll. I'll I'll text John here a little bit later and see. He said the work is good. I mean, they're doing good work, but. Did you say six months pregnant? Yeah. What the fuck, man? Well, I don't. I, this, I don't know what to this tell This is you. more on John than on you, but. I, John, I know I'm it very is. disappointed in you right now. <laughs> well, I, I, I told John that, too. I said uh, I said something in the podcast about, uh, you know, Jacqueline being pregnant pregnant and jason was like he wrote a little note was like pregnant question mark <laughs> like it, i'm like oh okay but you know how he is he's he's not big into giving up information on his personal life but yeah Even that people was who he would consider friends he just forgot dude i'm telling you he he, he just forgot <laughs> so yeah six months they're doing um uh june Jeez. So, so yeah, yeah maybe it'll be a few months old by the time I get back. Yeah, yeah. So, it, yeah, it's kind of crazy, like how quickly everything. We were talking about it, like especially like for Valentine's Day. I think we, did we talk about it on the podcast? We might have. I don't remember, but it was when I flew down there, helped him move, and then drove all the way back. Mm-hmm. I can't remember if we talked about that on a podcast or not, but that was like, it was like, I flew down there on the 12th was, you know, we packed stuff on the 12th. No, I flew down there on the 13th and then by, on the 14th, we we're in the car driving. No, no, it was straight 12. through. Yeah. We drove right. straight through because it was yeah. Valentine's day night that we had ballroom dancing lessons. So that we got in early that morning and you like, Brought me had a quick nap and yeah, basically took a nap throughout the day and then went to that ballroom dancing thing at night. Mm-hmm. Um, that was that was that was the big thing. Like had to had to be back in time for the ballroom dancing. Of course, so, yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. But yeah, that was that was a year ago. That like this time a year ago, we we're moving them into his house and everything, and and then in a month from now, it'll be their one year wedding anniversary. Damn. Yeah. So everything Amazing. fucking. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll be nice to get to move down to a new place and get that s- stuff settled. Yeah. You know, move this shit one more time. For, and <laughs> for the last time. It, if hopefully I'll settle in for at least a few years and I won't have to move his stuff for a while. No, oh, yeah. So yeah, that's cool. So the plan is that we're going to record over over this. So we'll we'll get mm-hmm. stuff immediately on YouTube. Yes. Um and then, so we can like talk about this for the, the audience who's ever listening. Right now we have zero viewers, but yes. I mean people can watch this after. Should have time. at least one. Although I don't know what account I'm logged into to watch this. So uh, how do you know how many viewers you have? Where, like, where's it? Say uh, there's there's a little box in the bottom right that says zero viewers. That's weird because I'm watching it on on one of the things. Well, let me see something here. Just, uh, just just for proof of concept, let me close this out. I guess I could go in too because I'm 
because I'm broadcasting from our channel, from the All Things Star Wars YouTube channel. So if I go in and watch it from mine. Go into the Team Millennial one. You ever watch uh, Roaming Millennial? You know who she is? No. She's this, uh, I think she's like half Asian girl. Does a lot of uh, right wing uh, YouTube videos. She's so fucking hot. Holy shit. <laughs> now we have three thumbs ups. Oh, well, fuck, I'll do it too. Because why not? It doesn't show me who the thumbs up are. Maybe you can see that. It's the broadcaster. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I'm seeing two viewers now, so I guess we woke it up. Yep. Well, so, yeah, I, I pulled a different account to log into it. Mm -hmm. um, I pulled the DMLA account and then um yeah if you pulled in yours so yeah okay so if i'm if i'm trying to watch like almost like as a, um um there's a word that i'm losing so viewer no Listener. not viewer like um okay, i watch my hand do this for no reason <laughs> uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> this adds uh, a whole new element to the podcast too because now you know people can see exactly what you're doing like yeah see how, see how my hand gesturing from not, like first person point of view as opposed to from the side like yeah the bird's eye view like over yeah. here um shit anyway regardless monitor you know you know when you're at a concert or something you had to put like a speaker in front of you so you can get mm -hmm. like that that feedback that's that's what i was thinking this would, this would be it's like having it set up as a monitor, but I read you. Regardless, so what do you? When do you want to? Uh, when do you want to record for Thrawn? Uh, that is a good question. Let me think here. So I got a full week next week. Um, oh, actually, next weekend would probably be the best because I'm testing out of this block next Friday. Right. Um, so I should probably put in a little bit of effort at least leading up to that. Um, <laughs> So, I mean, if you can bring some time next Saturday or Sunday, that would probably be ideal because I'll be in transition from one block to the other. Saturday, Sunday, it looks like I'm pretty open. So okay. when would you want to would you want to try and do it in the evening? Like, which, what do you think would be better? Um, later in the day would probably be good because, like I said, I've been going to the gym first thing in the mornings. Right. Um, I'm not getting up early to, on a fucking weekend to do, a po do the podcast. Right. Later podcast is better. So that so way you can at least have a beer, you know, while you're while you're sitting there. You know, I haven't had a drop of alcohol since I left the house. Really? Yeah. You gonna try and keep that up? I was thinking about it. I'm like, do I really need to drink for the podcast? No. I don't know. Obviously. Because I mean, I'm I'm trying to lose weight, obviously, with all the running and gym going and stuff. So I'm trying mm. to get rid of the fucking gut. Um so yeah, maybe I won't. Well, yeah, it's it's a never ending battle, but uh, well, it's a tough part because you're in your forties. Yeah, you know, it's, it just it just makes it harder, but it's not impossible. You're no. doing good. So if anything, then maybe it'd be like glass of wine kind of thing, as as opposed to like you know a heavy beer. Yeah. What? Well, whatever. I'm just if we did it. I'm trying to think if we did it like either if we scheduled it kind of like on Sunday nights, like we usually would, mm -hmm. you know, like do it Sunday at, you know, five, six o'clock. At least for this week. Now, you know, for later recordings, it, it may all vary depending on what I have going on for tests and whatnot. And right. if I do end up going up for my fucking promotion board, uh, March drill, I'm going to need to do some cramming for that, too, as that's getting closer. Yeah. Well, let's um. I mean, we can we can we could do it in the middle of the week too. After Monday, I got a lot of shit to do to out, get my retire ID card, and you know, has some stuff to do with that. Mm -hmm. Tuesday night, I'm tied up. Wednesday night, I'm tied up. Thursday night, I'm tied up. <laughs> so, so Mason shit. Uh, a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, because my, my cousin's joining, so we potentially have a thing on Tuesday for that. Then I have, uh, I have to run a meeting on Wednesday, 
that the 28th and that's all in the evening and then yeah. we have tickets for a show on thursday night Ooh, what show uh something rotten mm, never heard of it yeah it's supposed to be good i don't know but it's part yeah. of our subscription right for the thing in philly yeah dude we got cool. totally got totally got fucking ripped off the uh the last time really yeah it so I fucking I called over to the thing. This was like right around the Thursday after Valentine's Day. Mm. So the fifteenth. We had tickets for the show on that Thursday night, but we couldn't go. Um I had a Masonic thing. Okay. So we're like, okay, let's get this rescheduled for for Friday. So Tuesday of that week, right? Like your first day of class that Tuesday. Mm. Yep. I I called up the, the box off and I was like, hey, listen, uh, I've got tickets for the thing. I can't go. I want to reschedule. Like, and any other time I've done this, I'm like, okay, what you know, we go through the dates and they sent me my e-ticket and I could print it and I take it to the thing. Well, apparently this is in a different venue. So they're like, oh no, you you just have to take your ticket and go over to the venue and they'll exchange it. I'm like, hmm. okay. They're like, well, do I have to get there ahead of time or can I go up to go right before the show? Like, no, no, it's not a problem. You can go right before the show and you'll be able to exchange it. But if you go early, you'll have a better chance of getting the same seats. I'm like, fair enough. I wasn't going to drive into Philly necessarily to, you know, any any earlier than I really needed to. I mean, we got there like two hours before showtime. Sure. So I was like, oh, this should be enough time to exchange the tickets. Mm-hmm. Get up to the ticket window and they're like, oh, no, we don't do that. Like we, first of all, we won't exchange a ticket from the the day prior, and you know, because it was for the Thursday night show, we're there on Friday. Like we wouldn't, we wouldn't do it for a past show at all. And secondly, even if we were going to exchange, we wouldn't exchange it for a weekend show. Like they wouldn't exchange a Thursday ticket for any of the the Friday or Saturday or Sunday shows. So, so I bet you talked to it on the phone, screwed you over, uh, some dude. But yeah, it, it was complete fucking like. And it was me verifying too, like with the guy, like making sure that I wouldn't have this problem. Did you make that one? Oh, I wasn't even aiming for the trash. I was just flinging it in the general direction. <laughs> trash is full, actually. So <laughs> you gotta I take that it do out. not disturb off. Well, yeah, because I, uh, yeah, I got the do not disturb on, so I'm gonna have to actually take the trash out myself. I think. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> the uh, end of this long story is that I called up the ticket office the Kimmel Center I'm like WTF you know this is what I was told by mm-hmm. all these people and they're like uh, well yeah they missed they should have never have told you that because yeah the policy is that you would have had to have done this this and this I'm like but clearly yeah, like clearly like, he shouldn't have told me that yeah so and this the show was sold out like regardless uh. so because I think they made some phone calls and we're gonna try and get get us into the show like mm-hmm. for the weekend or like the whole weekend was sold out. So, and because of, you know, it, it was the holiday. So we ended up getting comp tickets right. for, uh, yeah, it was, it was Valentine's day. So yeah, everyone was going and to go and see shows and shit like that. So we ended up, um, we ended up doing our own thing, but it still cost me 14 bucks to fucking park in Philly and, yeah. and do all that bullshit. It was just annoying. Yeah. Sounds it, especially considering they, Gave you bad info right from the start. Yeah, yeah, motherfuckers. So they gave me, like I said, they gave me comp tickets for another night and um, I guess. for tickets shows that we already have. But we can definitely it's for sound and music, so we'll just we'll have we bring plenty of people to that. So anyway, but yeah, so if you wanted to do it, like say earlier in the week, like you say you're testing at the end of the week, so the weekend's probably better anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, because it was. I, I'll be ending a block on Friday and starting a new one on Monday. So not much to do in between. Well, why don't we tentatively schedule something for, for Sunday? Okay. Maybe six o'clock my time. Sure. That works like five o'clock. Yeah. There should be plenty of time. I can make sure I have my uniform ready for the next day and all that bullshit. I got to wear blues on Wednesday. (sighs) blues wednesdays it's the last duty day of the month now is when you have to wear blues so gross yeah 
it's only short sleep. Oh, question for you, because I didn't want to ask anybody else in the class and look stupid, because they all look <laughs> they all look at me as like this like Obi Wan Kenobi like old wise man who knows everything. And uh, Fair do enough. you have do you have to wear a badge with the short sleeve blues if you're not wearing ribbons? Only wings. Only wings. Okay, so yep. I do have to find some wings to wear. Yep. P.S. All right. So you need to. Well, it's still Friday, so clothing sales should be. Oh open. yeah, I, I got plenty of time to do it. I just don't want to have to shell out the money for them if I didn't have to. But they're cheap. They're the uh, small wings with the. They're, would I think it be the, like so? Would it be the, the small ones, the mini ones? You can do the mini ones. Okay. I could do the full size if I wanted. You could. Okay. There's nothing that says you can't. But I wouldn't take the full size off of your blues coat to put them right. on there just yeah, to save because it is on there. Yeah, because I'm looking at it right here. Yeah, and, honestly, uh, you should you should just shell out the five six dollars it's going to cost you for a set of little mini wings. Because even yeah. with your your jacket on, you should have your your small wings on your uh, okay. your blues shirt underneath it. So that makes sense. And if I'm not wearing ribbons, it just kind of goes like what, like a half inch above the pocket. Half inch, half inch above the pocket. Okay. Easy enough. Yeah, I'll do they that don't. So they're not going to make you wear ribbons. Like I, I remember back in the day, it was if you were if you were in short sleeve blues, you had to wear your fucking ribbons. Uh, they made it sound like it's just like eh, whatever. I mean, I uh, have. That's the funny thing is, I actually have two sets of ribbons on me. I just don't have two sets of wings. Yeah, go get get yourself a small set of wings. Yeah. And uh yeah, it'll be fine. Right. So the idea on for so what's today? Today's the Friday. 23rd. Yeah, so not this Sunday, but next Sunday we'll we'll tape the week from tomorrow. Yeah, we'll tape the Thrawn episode. Okay. Yeah, because we're good because we still have one more episode that we previously recorded right. that we have to release. Yeah, so that was, that'll be that next was, week. That was brilliant because that gave you plenty of time to get settled in and yeah. and, and do all that. Yep. And then we'll just validate this as the medium. Are you going to attempt to pull the audio from this to make sure it sounds good and everything else? Because we yes. never did 30 seconds of silence or anything like that. Before no, we and, and we would have to. In fact, oh, actually, before we... Uh, hang up or anything. I do want to try one other thing. I want to see if uh, Audacity will record both of our voices over this. So let me just pull this over okay. here. All right, let me hit record. Hello, hello, hello. All right, you say something. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. It does not look like it's picking it up, but I'll uh, hold on. Now let me stop it and let me just play it back real quick. I could say it louder. Yeah, no, it was only recording my half. Now, I wonder if there's any way I could pull the audio from your half into this. I'll do some research. But once we're done here, I'll make sure this saves to our YouTube channel. And if it does, right. I can pull the audio from that no matter what. It may not be the greatest quality in the world, not what you know we're used to, but it's good enough. Yeah, we'll figure it out. What yeah. do we, we just Skyped before. I mean, we were able to Skype... Right, and but you pulled all the audio and everything else, and it just like it wasn't recording the video though. So right. um, this way, if it works the way I think it's going to work, you know, we'll we'll have the video and it'll go straight to YouTube, so we don't have to worry about any of that video editing bullshit. It just goes right up, and okay. then I'll extract the audio, uh, and then do the audio version as usual. So it's you're kind of like killing a bunch of birds with one stone by doing okay. it this way. So. Trying to think for the future. So March 13th is when I'm going to have my copy of uh, Last Jedi. Oh, okay. Because um, the downloadable copies apparently are going to be available on the 13th. And then like the, the Blu-ray release is later. It's like the 27th okay. or something like that. Yep. So um, are you going to get the download version? or uh, Of uh, Last Jedi? Yeah. You talk, we're talking the movie? Yeah. Uh, I'm probably just going to buy the Blu-ray and have it here with me. Okay, so what I'm saying is like we'll have to talk about like the ex you know expanded extended scenes and all of the bullshit mm -hmm. and on a future episode. So we'll have to do that at the after March 27th because that's March 27th is when the Blu-ray is coming out. We it's almost 2 weeks difference. 
between the digital copy and the uh, Blu-ray. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, there's not much to talk about if it's just the digital copy, too, because it's just the movie again, which we've talked to death already on the show. Yeah, but there's, there's supposed to be two hours of additional content to include some sort of documentary. So ah, fuck. we might, All there's right. probably going to be enough content there to actually do a full episode on, you know, you yeah. figure 35 minutes of banter as per usual. And mm-hmm. then, uh, you know, talking about all the additional features and things like that, what's worth the shit and what's not, right. You know, I'm just trying to think if we, I, I want to hash out kind of a, a, a plan for the next few weeks, at least well, through March for I, episodes. I would say, for the episode that we release on like the 29th, um, we should make that be like the last Jedi Blu-ray and extras and all that, because I'll get it on the 27th. I can cram stuff the night of the 27th and 28th. And then we can, you know, record on like the 29th or something. Well, I'm actually, I, I'm, (laughs) I have another show on the 29th, uh, for school rock. Uh, Um, no, we don't. I mean, as long as it's out by that weekend, because that's that that's Easter weekend. Okay, and then we could record that weekend, I guess. Yeah. So we have. You'll be off that Friday, so we could potentially do it that Friday. Well, let me pull up my calendar because when I saw them, they had a couple of calendars with their down days laying around, and I just right. took out my phone and just took a picture of it. And again, got weird looks from people like, "Oh, what the fuck is he doing?" It's like I'm taking like, a picture of the schedule, so I know what the fuck my schedule is yeah, going to be. Not- <laughs> Like I have, I'm I'm trying to support a life outside of what's going on here, and like the rest of you clowns, it's weird, man. It's like some of these people here, uh, what day is Easter? The first of April. Oh, they're not giving us any days off for that. You won't have the thirtieth off. That's Good Friday. It's weird. According to this, no. Yeah, that's that's a two day weekend for us. We got a three day weekend. The next one, April sixth, seventh, and eighth. It's fucking weird. Why would they do that? I mean, if you're running the schoolhouse, students notwithstanding, I mean, you're there, so it doesn't fucking matter. But you know, for if you're running the schoolhouse, why would you not? Yeah, give, I don't know. Give everyone Good Friday off. Actually, you know what? I don't think they have holidays uh, properly annotated on this because I'm looking at July and they don't have anything in July 4th. So. When's July 4th this year? It's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. And yeah, they don't have shit on there. They have a black border around the 5th, which I have no idea what that fucking means. Oh, that's AETC family days. So. Well, that's like if it's anything like the AMC Family Days, it just means it's basically a day off, but it's kind of a kind of a down day. Now, interestingly enough, talking to um, uh, my, my therapist for AMC, they're basically like for the Med Group, they canceled mm-hmm. like all their family days. They're actually really? like they're increasing their shift work and everything else. They're like gearing up for more. Um, uh, more patience and uh, everything else. So like the family days and those extra days off that they would get, um, they're, they're closing those all off. Now, I don't think that would have anything to do with ATC with the schoolhouses, but it's interesting things, things are happening. Yeah. But, um, huh. Weird. So anyway, let's, do you want to shoot for like, like Friday night? Um, the, just tentatively get it on the schedule. The, uh, the Friday after the yeah, Good comes Friday, out? whatever that is. So that's like the thirtieth, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. March. Yeah, that's fine. March thirtieth. Yep. I want. I want to get the stuff in my calendar so that I am not. Um, yeah, it makes sense. So, and then yeah, we can talk about yeah, anything yeah, related with the Blu-ray and. It'll be a you know it'll be a Blu-ray release, uh, Last Jedi, the last time we talk about it for reals, yo. This <laughs> <Yes>. time, <laughs> sure. We always um, say that. 
and then uh, so give us a couple hours for that. Plowing through that water, huh? Uh, I'm surprised you haven't had to We've been online for. I'm know. getting there. <laughs> I'm getting there. Actually, I got oh, shit right, in the dryer downstairs too. I need to go grab at some point. All right. Well, we're almost done with this. Um, yeah, and so in between those two things, we'll do. Um, you want to do those uh, Lando and Han Solo comics? Yes, that was a good idea. Um, do you want to do it? As we get closer to Last Jedi, like in like late April or early May, or uh, yeah, I, I'll 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 go into the uh, the spreadsheet and I'll start throwing some ideas in there as far as the timelines go to see okay. what makes sense because we still got to fill content, um, because we have this is riveting for anybody who's watching, which is probably nobody. Well, I'm seeing two viewers. I am not one of them. So oh, you logged off. So somebody's yeah. watching. Yeah. Um. Now, is, there should be some sort of chat for this, too. There, oh, there is. Goes. It's off to the side. Yeah, yeah you just anything. had to click something. If you're here, say something. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Anyway, again, riveting. Yeah. Um, so this, we have the, um, what are you calling it? The... Exodus, the Exodus yes. episode will yep. come out on the eighth. Right, right. No, no, the first. The first, yeah. It'll come out on the first. Uh, Thrawn would be the eighth if we can get it recorded before that. Right. Which I'm sure we will by then. Yeah. Um, you got through all of it though on the drive. So I've got like three hours left. In the audio, because really? the thing was 18 hours long, and there were stretches during the drive where I'm just like, "All right, I need to listen to something else." It's 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 good. It's a good story and everything, but I just like I, you know, had to like listen to just some music and just kind of veg out for a little bit on right, certain parts of the drive. So yeah, I've got about three hours left. I was listening to a bunch of it yesterday, um, and I just need to spend a couple hours and go for a walk and uh, finish listening. Can't run and listen to it and <laughs> throw off your running pace. <laughs> yeah, no, that that would not go well. Um, all right. So we just got to figure out what we're going to do after Thrawn. Yeah. Um. Uh, I don't know. We can brainstorm. We got a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, have to decide something right now. In fact, well, I mean, we could start jumping right back into Clone Wars too. That's an option. We could, if you have time, if you have yeah. time for that, I, I'll have, I'll have time. Yeah, I can uh, make time. I don't know how so, I'm going to watch it because I, I have to, I have to figure out how I'm actually going to watch it. And is it off Netflix now? <sighs> let me, let me see. Oh, wait, didn't you say you bought it all on iTunes? Not Clone Wars, no. Oh, I thought you said you had. No, I bought Rebels on iTunes. Oh. Because it's it's the better series. Just can't help but that the fans didn't agree with me. Clone hey, Wars. the pe the people have spoken. It it looks like it's still on there, man. On Netflix. Yeah, okay. I'm on season two, episode twelve of the Clone Wars. Okay. So I <sighs> and we're, we we haven't finished season one yet, have we? No, we did. We we completely finished season one. Okay, so I and I've watched up to season twelve, um, and it looks like I have the rest of those available. So cool. Yeah, I still have access to it on Netflix, so we'll be good. Excellent. It it will be good. So all right, cool. In a few months, I'll start wearing tank tops on the show, so you can see the gun show. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know once I once I build up some actual muscle on my arms, <laughs> as as opposed to the hair and bones that I currently have. That's okay. I'm uh I'm starting on the first, or actually starting Monday, um, just so I have a, a routine built. Mm -hmm. I have I'm I'm gonna start going back and, and doing 
doing more gym stuff. Good. The, uh, yeah, don't don't take your foot off the gas now because you know that's it's an easy trap, I'm sure, for retired people to get into. You don't have those Air Force standards anymore. You have to uphold, and then it's it's you know honestly for all the, the past the beauty of having a bad thyroid and a weird metabolism and and you know all that shit is that I uh, I'm not so much worried about weight. It's just more about uh, pain management. So I'll yeah. do as much as I can do. Well, I mean, ultimately, what you need to concern yourself with is like you know, heart strength, because that's hey, the thing. I take, I take a little, I take a little pill for that every day. That am I? <laughs> I'm not talking about blood thinner. I'm talking about like you know. No, my high blood. I, I'm for my hypertension. I take okay. a pill for that. Because you got a gun. Uh oh, what happened? I lost him. Can you hear me? I lost the video. Can anyone hear me? Oh, wait. Now he's back. Yeah. You all right there? Yeah. It was. Yeah, you froze up. I was fine. You disappeared for a minute, and then you were all like choppy. I blame you. I think it's on your end. It was still it, it, like the the video. It still was like the same. Well, when we watch the video back, I guess we'll see who's really at fault. <laughs> exactly. So. All right, I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you get to it. Get your laundry yep. shit done. Um, yep. I'll hit you up via text. I'm curious to see what uh what showed up this morning. I have a feeling I know, but um, what showed up this morning? Work as far as the work text goes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. dude, you, you yeah, I'll I'll talk to you offline. I'm shocked that you don't know <laughs> definitively whether or not you're boarding in fucking ten days, basically. <sighs> yeah. And I've I've asked the question, like I've hit up Rachel and, and people back there, and it's like oh, I don't know yet. Motherfuckers, it's in like two and a half weeks. So you gotta assume that you are. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, no. I'm, I'm studying as much as I can when I can, but I'd hate to do all this shit for them to turn around and be like, nah, we're gonna wait until December when you get that back. guy that's early in his class when it's the bullshit that you already know, like the fucking IT, you know, basics yeah. shit that you've you've been doing for years. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, this first test will be great. First two tests, but then week after next, I go into Security Plus, which is one test, and it's two weeks of cramming all the information. Mm. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But again, I'm not too worried about it. Word. All right, brother. Let's sign this off. All and right, then, sounds uh, good. We'll look hopefully back on it, see what adjustments we need to make, if yeah, any. Hopefully everything comes out well. So. All right, I'm going to stop the broadcast now, and I will catch you later. Roger that.